Hey guys, it's Robert with RV Weekends and I'm heading to the Tampa Fall RV Show. Stick around. All right, I'm here almost to the show. I uh, got past Orlando. I have to drive from the East Coast of Florida, the Space Coast, and drive all the way across the state, uh, south, uh, west, to Tampa. And it's nasty in Orlando, if you don't know, to go through at rush hour. So I got up at 5 a.m., left around 5.40 or so, and headed out, and I beat the traffic. So I'm at a rest area right now. I used the restroom, and... I'll be getting back in the truck to take off and get, get all the way to Tampa. So let's get it rolling. All right, we're on our way. Like I said, I just left the rest area and I only got about 35 minutes till I get there and traffic is smooth. It's been great, but you know, I'm going to be there about an hour early, a little less than an hour early, so it's going to be perfect. I got to grab my things. You can see the sun behind me. That's the sunrise. That's right. I left and it was dark this morning, but I'm so excited, ready to hit the RV show. And in two months, you got the RV super show. This actually, this RV show two years ago, I that's where I purchased the RV that I'm in now, two years ago. So happy birthday to my RV. Well, I didn't get it delivered on the day that I signed the contract. I got it right before Thanksgiving. So right now is uh, November 11th. So I got it right before Thanksgiving. It'll be two years. All right, well, we'll see you guys there. the gate is not open I guess I'm too early there's the entrance and here we are at the entrance but the gate is still closed hmm all right we're the first ones in the RV show Super Show, not the RV Super Show. We're at the Fall Tampa RV Show. And we're at the entrance. We're gonna buy a ticket and get on in.
Now I'm at the Lazy Days RV uh, area, to which I'm a fan because I bought my RV from Lazy Days. But I was very disappointed that they didn't have a lot of brand design RVs there, which is my brand. So not very happy with that. But I made some adjustments at the end of the day to see if I could remedy that.
get behind you. <laughs> okay. It's all right. I edit it. Can't lose with that name, right? Vegas. People will buy it just for that name emblem. Look at that nice low step. Get in. Oh, and the AC works, and unlike the other ones. Look at all that windshield. Imagine if that windshield got broke. How much it would cost to replace that? Nice. Look at that. Four burner cast iron grill. Beautiful. Look at the size of that oven. That's a residential oven right there. This is a residential. Beautiful. Very nice.
Nice. Welcome to Lazy Days. Yeah, we're here at Lazy Days. Let's see if they'll let me look around. Since they didn't have enough Grand Design RVs at the show. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> All right, they said I have to go to a different place to see the Grand Design travel trailers. So, cool. I get to drive there to get closer. Look at this nice Jeep. Nice. All right, let's get back in the All right, we made it to the Grand Design RV Resort right here. It's a big resort for the RV uh, dealership. So you can come here and enjoy the, the resort. But we're gonna go check out the Grand Design RV travel trailers, which are over here. Look. Yeah, there's a Transcend right there. There's a Imagine Solitude. Let's do it. All right, here's, I found my first Transcend. <clears throat> Brand new. Let's take a look inside and let's see what the model is. The model is 251BH stands bunkhouse. Let's take a look inside. All right, the slider is closed. It's got these bunk bed thingies, like Murphy bed thingies. The dinette, now this is a slider, so this would go out to create more room. Oh, somebody left the light on here, we should turn that off. There. Here's here's the LED lights, these little fancy smancy things. Oh, now they got them on transcends, huh? That's the striker to start the, the stove, and here's the burners. So they got they went from stainless steel to black. I hope you can see that black finishes for this model. Here's the slider. This is what I love about my model. When the slider's in, I don't have to do this to get, oh, I just suck in my gut to get in there. And they got a slider for the bed too. Hard to see. Big, big shower. Bathroom's large, really nice. Hey guys, I'm in the RV Resort Recreation Center. And they got this cool bar. Looks like an RV with a slider on it. Pretty slick. Look at it. Pretty slick. And look behind me. Pool tables, ping pong tables, and a whole reception area. Very cool. So, not a bad place to hang out at the, at the Lazy Days RV Resort. Cool. Well, guys, it's time for me to head home. It's getting late. Look how dark it's getting. Had a good time. Oh, look at the, look at the bar. Looks like the back of a Class A RV. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Well, if I didn't have to go to work tomorrow, maybe I could hang out for a while. But I got to go home and go to work tomorrow. Look, they even have a pool. There's the pool. Wee. Really nice. Lazy Days RV Resort here near Tampa. Oh, and look what we have here. Oh my. We got a Corvette. That is cool. Very cool. Stingray. But you can't pull an RV with it. This is what you pull an RV with right here. That's, look at that. Let me show you something. 
See that? Ow! That's a bad dude. Ow! He bites. <laughs> All right, man. It's time to get out of here and get home. See you later, alligator. All right, guys. What a day at the RV show in Tampa. Fall RV show. What a great show. Man, I met so many cool people. Went to so many cool RVs. And I had a great time here at the Tampa Bay Fall RV Show. And looking forward to January uh, when we come back for the Florida RV Super Show. It's going to be epic. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, give it us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content just like this, as well as my trips around the state of Florida, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll get a notification about my newest video being uploaded. Thanks for watching RV Weekends, and I'll see you next time.